Good afternoon. Uh, this uh, afternoon, I'm joined by Mr. Innocent Naka, who calls himself a financial engineer, who for 20 years has been on the project that he calls Global Livestock Bank, GLB. Uh, if uh, this is, uh, he talks of uh, his experiences in this uh, global livestock bank as we seek avenues to bridge to the future. <laughs> we can only talk to the people who have something to share. Let's hope we'll be able to connect with uh, Mr. Naka and uh, he, what he has to say about this GLB. What is it? what inspired him to get involved in this uh, uh, global livestock bank, not a Zimbabwean livestock bank, not an African livestock bank, but a global livestock bank. So hopefully you will pick up the phone and then be able to represent uh, the experiences, the insight that he has gained, in giving life to this uh, GLB uh, concept. He calls himself a financial engineer. What is a financial engineer after all? I guess uh, this is what we need to be able to talk to the people who have lived some of the experiences. There are many people who want to talk about things they have not experienced themselves but want to interpose themselves on experiences of others. So he is in Kariba, he said his network is not good. So if the network is not good, uh, then he may not be able to talk to us, but we agreed that we're going to talk at three o'clock and hopefully uh, he will uh, call back and then we can be able to have a conversation with him, innocent. That's the person we are talking to. And uh, we want to know what this, uh, what inspired this uh, global livestock bank? What is it? What is it not? And uh, the moment we have conversations, we all leave the conversations with a lot to learn, a lot to share. Some of us listen, and they don't share at all. And uh, good afternoon uh, to everybody. Here we're talking about Global Livestock Bank. Uh, I'm in a, in a group uh, called Business Innovation. And uh, Innocent is also part of that group. So he had agreed to come and share with us his insights, his experiences on creating this uh, global livestock bank, which is a financial instrument, an insurance instrument uh, structured around this idea called uh, 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 livestock. It's an asset and uh, how best did we build this asset base? And uh, from what he shared, you may be able to get that uh, uh, his idea from his own uh, share. And this was shared uh, earlier on uh, this morning. And uh, he, 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 let me just get to to him. Uh, his name is Innocent Naka, N-A-K-A. If there are any uh, who have been banking in this group from about 2006 to 2014, you may be aware of it because I knocked on almost every bank in Zimbabwe but only Agribank, headed by Mr. Malaba at the time, 
could understand what I was trying to do, but he gave me a team. That's another story, though. But, the chance, but then chances, copycats and vouchers have been trying to try it, but without the DNA, you always get it from GLB, Global Livestock Bank, unlocks the value in livestock through an insurance instrument, which then collateralizes the livestock, so to speak. Thus, it becomes a bankable asset, not only that, but a biocurrency, which is unbeknown growth characteristics, i.e. this currency is live, so are the shares. It's the only kind of an asset that is, is, is guaranteed growth rate of over 50% per annum. Its growth is not affected by economic activity. Economic activity is only a natural growth patterns by number, birth, by weight and growth. This is what he shared. So if you are out there and you hear what uh, uh, like is it uh, a derivative? Uh, yes, uh, the people who are thinking of ideas, uh, what is currency, what is money, and how do we harness uh, the resources that we have, if we can have gold, we can also have livestock as the underpinning of uh, 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 transactions. So if we look at uh, this, uh, hopefully we get him now. If we don't get him, uh, we keep trying because he had warned me that way he is. Uh, the reception is not so good. He is in Kariba. Uh, that's, uh, yeah. So let's hope that he will answer. If he doesn't pick up, it's not the end of the road. We can talk about innovations. This is about literacy. How do we secure a future? How best can economic freedom be won? And who is to win it? Who is to be the leader of things we don't know? Unless those who know something step forward, share what they know, share their experiences. Even with Agribank, you can see that uh, he met with Malaba, who was the CEO, and he threw him to the wolves, to the team in the bank, and the project died. It's natural death. That's what happens most of the initial business. Never, they, they never go far because they're visionary may have the vision, but the people around the visionary may not understand the vision. So you end up having to do things yourselves, not anybody else. Tatenda, good afternoon. So most of the people who are supposed to lead are followed by people without the leader knowing who is following. So we end up with too many followers thinking that they actually know what the leader is thinking when the reality is something else. So how do we bring awareness? What is the role of the media in being able to expose some of these ideas so that together we can find a way forward? Some don't want to share because they are afraid someone will steal it. But if something is good, shouldn't it be stolen anyway? You may find that actually most of the ideas are subject to theft. Even power itself can be stolen. So anything, if you have meat, you always find flies. If you are moving a dog, you always bark. Should it not bark? If you start moving, it should back. And this is the challenge we have. How do we celebrate ideas, knowing that an idea doesn't have legs? 
it requires human beings to have legs. How do we convert gold into a ring? That doesn't happen in the animal kingdom. Only human beings have the capacity to think creatively and convert gifts of nature into instruments that human beings can use. And how many of us want to protect that which they never gave anyway, the gift to think. Imagine you were to allocate it. Imagine you were to play God for one day. Who would you give the best brains if it's not your children, not your relatives? How many will be generous so that everybody can benefit from the intelligence that is given for free? Imagine the creator who created all these gifts and gave them common to all so that one generation after generation, they will enjoy the fruits of somebody's creation and use those resources to be able to make a difference, to solve human problems. How many say it's my idea? Only me must be the number one. Who do you want to be number one without number two? So we challenged Mr. Naka. He was telling me about the CIA and they wanted to steal his ideas. I wanted him to come on this show to tell us why is he afraid to give up some of his experiences so that we can, we can learn. A good thing should always be shared freely. The creator gave countries without borders. Who puts the border? Who puts the jura hole? It's not the creator. Who then calls this country or this geography my country, my mineral, my this, my land, and yet never took the effort to create land? Imagine you were there in the quietness of your time, had to create the world. Where would you start? Would you start by calling the person? Would you start by saying it's mine? What would give you the audacity to cause something that is not yours, yours? To fight for something that is not yours? To say, I went to the struggle to fight so that I can give you land. And you ask him, how can you fight for something that was never yours? Anyway? What is it that you are trying to prove? By taking that which somebody has given for free, appropriate it to yourself, and say it's mine, and it's worth dying for when you have been given the brains to think, to make choices, and to do what is right for you, not what is right for somebody else. Where is self-interest? We are given brains so that we use them in our self-interest. But in doing so, we have to relate to other human beings because that's where the value is exchanged. These people are different from you, M.M. You believe in sharing with everyone, whereas other people Go not believe in that. Yes, they even believe that things shared in WhatsApp groups must not be shared. They think it's private. I share something, copy and paste, and then somebody says, why did you copy and paste? Why did you share in a group? If you don't want others to know what is in your mind, in fact, if you go even, it says, what is on your mind? Go to Twitter. Go to Facebook. What's happening? What's in your mind? But imagine some people want to import other minds and outsource themselves to other human beings and become the spokespersons for other human beings. Isn't it tragic? So our guest today could have run away because he doesn't want to talk to the public. He wants to talk to me privately so that I become a beneficiary of something that I don't want to know. But some people think I ought to know because they think by me knowing, I may be able to add some value to what they are thinking, not knowing that what they are thinking is the universe of what is to be thought. Their ideas must be centric to the problems that they wish to solve. So I hope you have uh, taken something out of this. If it has been value to you, use it. If it's useless, ignore it. Don't insult me in the process. Just uh, ignore what you have uh, uh, been exposed to. So this is uh, for you. Uh, 
Mr. Naka didn't pitch up. I guess most people don't want to talk to the public because talking to the public uh, implies, implies giving up some right that I have. How many people want to protect something they never added value to? There's no value add in what you are claiming, yet you are claiming it. Even if it's this conversation, imagine just taking what I've said, packaging it into a small thing, admitting in your own words that this is what I've learned today from Maweri. You have to, if you, if you want, you use my name and say you learned it on a video, you take the link and share it with others. You never know what difference conversations make. Ideas matter. Without ideas, we don't have ideals. We don't have anything to shoot for. And if it's adding to Tatenda, Tafirenika, you are the change that you want to see. Just take the link, share it with as many people on your platforms. You never know who comes back. You mentioned, which means forever, you are part of this conversation because you've chosen to step forward and say definitely it adds value to you as a person not to other people. Just say me, it has added value to me. So I'll give you five minutes just to, for you to say, this conversation has added value to me. So this is your opportunity. I'll go dark and then go off video so that you can add your typing. Never, never, never injures you. So you can be the typist and whether this has been of value to you, whether these conversations are worth sharing. Just type yes, Y for yes, N for no. Okay, if you think that this has been of value, just type Y for yes and N for no. So let's see whether there are people in this room or it's me talking to myself. those who typed yes thank you very much so until we meet again if you have any question just drop the question and uh, let's keep on talking we'll come back later on to talk about constitutionalism what does it mean and what are the lessons we learn and uh, if you are out there and you are interested in the rule of law and constitutionalism, please, and network me. Okay, I'm getting there. Uh, definitely need more players. Uh, try calling me on. There's another number that we are given. So, Naka, can he? can talk to us, okay?
Hello? How are you? How are you? Hello? Hello? I'm not well, sir. I'm not well, sir. Uh, Zimbabwe is, is, is terrible, sir. Imagine network just dropped all the networks, just like that, all over the country. You are not serious? From around quarter to, to three. I am serious, sir. Ask, actually, I asked my friend, uh, to, who, who talks to you on LinkedIn? I asked my other brother in South Africa to call you and tell me. Ah, oh, okay. Like, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just getting the message now. I I not long, but uh, you know what Trump said. He said shit hole. There's a lot of shit in the hole. Hello, we have Mr. Innocent Naka, but uh, the connection is a problem. Uh, the connection is a problem. I just wanted to share, uh, you to share uh, the GLB idea and uh, what your experiences were. Yes. And yes, sir, definitely, sir. I don't know if you can reach out to I don't know when you can reach out Okay, uh, it's, up to, it's up to you. Uh, when are you available? Like, like, like right now, it's uh, online. I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Uh, it's up to you. Here you go on your side, sir. I'm very much available. All right. Uh, can we use this number, or you prefer the other number, or you can call me on the other number? Um, which we number they call you on on zero seven one two. Yeah. Yeah, I think uh, I would rather use that number. Yes. Well, uh, so we can talk. We can. Yeah, we can talk on this number. Maybe uh, just to give you uh, an insight into what inspired uh, GLB. Yes, sir. Definitely, sir. All right. Definitely. So you can go ahead. Okay, sir. All right, okay. Um, in Global Electric Bank, which is acronym GLB, uh, uh, was birthed around the 1989 when I was still a student in the Zimbabwe. Uh, the reason why I, I came up with this project, with this, uh, I don't have no idea, is because a lot of blacks, in, uh, primarily rather, actually blacks, and mostly the rural folk had no access to credit. If they want, say, to, to do their cropping, to do their livestock, it was coping for their children. So around 1989, I spoke to, um, to a relative of mine who worked with my brother-in-law, asking him to, to come up with a that takes care of the big majority. Unfortunately, for that at, at that time, most of the insurance companies and insurance companies said that our blacks are not insured. But it, we, we find that the European government had a very, very strong and robust uh, care management system. Uh, you know, I, I, I can put it this way, a, a disease control system. So um, after a year or two of convincing, he finally agreed. He came up with the insurance policy, which was a, a, a wolf to hook policy that covered uh, the livestock from the field up to uh, until it's in the butchery. Uh, firstly, we approached the government of Japan for the care era one, care era two project. Uh, later on, uh, we we got funding from East of Africa to this project. Basically what GLB does is, it creates a financial instrument that a rural farmer or any farmer with livestock can actually insure his livestock or a livestock. Then after insuring insure that livestock, we give him a certificate. The certificate is a tradable instrument, or it's, it's also a credit instrument. You can walk into any bank, it ends for any institution, and for almost 10 or so, or I think maybe 15 years, we tried to convince the government of Zimbabwe to make this a national policy. Finally, a few years back, about three, four years back, they've accepted livestock as collateral, which was a very, very 
very positive and big step towards unlocking for leaner culture. The main thrust of uh, uh, the, main, the main problem actually with uh, with GLB is that uh, most financial institutions in Zimbabwe, like banks and the like, they could not see the light at the end of the tunnel. They could understand what I was talking about. They found it very fun. But actually, in October of 2008, I was cartooned by the air route. Um, and coming from the reserve, the reserve areas, with a cow on tour asking to see the bank manager. That's how funny they, they viewed those things. But um, but to my surprise, or to their surprise, the World Bank, it actually visited me uh, somewhere around the same month to view my project because I had applied to the World Bank for funding. So basically, what the GOB does, it's a currency, all right? It's the global currency, so to speak. It can be owned by billions. What we are actually saying in this job is that each kilowatt on on, um, on a cow or a bull is a share, you see. And the only the difference between my currencies or the GOB biocurrency with any other currency or any other share is that my kind of shares are biological and they are not at all uh, what can I say, affected by economic uh, activities. Right now, we've we got COVID. Right, we've seen the oil dollar plummeting. We've seen the oil prices. We've seen, I mean, a lot of uh, global institutions they've actually collapsed. But if these people, if they put their money on the buy currency on the left on GLB, nothing was going to happen. Cattle were going to to match. They were going to give birth. They were going to grow. You see, this is a fundamental difference between GLB and in other currency or shares. Okay, so you can't have lockdown on, on, on livestock. You can't have lockdown on livestock. You can't. You can't. If, definitely say, even if people are bombing each other with, with nuclear weapons, their bulls and cows will be mating. You see, that's the fundamental difference between this kind of share and another. You see now. Okay. And, and it's got a guaranteed growth rate of over 50% every per, per annum. It's guaranteed without any trade having taken place. Okay. That's how different this thing is from any other. Yeah. All right. So, uh, how far are you now in terms well, of the in um, initiative? Is it functioning or is it okay. something that you shelved? No, no, no. Uh, between 20, uh, from 2006 up to 2014. I had several projects uh, running uh, through GLB. Firstly, it was the KRA 1 and KRA 2 with uh, Jupiter Insurance with Master McMillan Zande. Then we had uh, the ECF Africa. I had a friend with Chem Insurance. I had a friend. Oh, something happened with us. It wasn't very good. Uh, we financed tobacco. We financed potatoes. We financed some other crops uh, through this, uh, this initiative. It, we have worked with it before, we have used it before. Uh, I pulled out of, I was, I was financing tobacco for quite some time, almost 15 years, but I pulled out of tobacco after seeing a lot of um, uh, unfair practices towards the farmer. I didn't want to risk the farmer's cattle, so I had to pull, uh, to, to pull it out. But at the moment, we are still on it. We are, we are, uh, we are creating the application to run this, the, the biocurrency. Um, we still have our structures in place. Uh, in the rural areas, in the farms, actually, people are still actually waiting for us to come back to them uh, to, to relaunch the GLB project. So okay. right at the moment, of course, we are looking for funding to do it on a bigger scale. And what kind of funding are you looking for? Okay. Um, what we're looking for, basically, right at the moment, is we need to create paddocks in the communal areas and the farms, even in the communal areas. We need to see we need to sink balls. We need to, to, to do the fencing. We need to, to buy, exchange, exchange stock. We need to put ships on our livestock. Yeah. Basically, that's the kind of funding we're looking at at the moment to do the infrastructure. Okay. So, and then, of course, yeah, and, then, <clears throat> and of course, uh, irrigation funding. Because every cropping activity is going to be uh, done through irrigation. Definitely. Definitely. Okay, so if, if you look at uh, uh, at Zimbabwe today in terms of awareness of what you are talking yeah. about, 
Do you believe yeah. that uh, there's a shared understanding of uh, the livestock? Actually, in the... I actually say it, it's kind of funny. It's actually funny that actually almost I, I, when I did my research, I did it for 12 years, right? For 12 long years, uh, since I was at university, since uh, after I graduated, I did it for 12 years. Actually, every corner of Zimbabwe, every rural area in Zimbabwe, they know my name, I've been there, they know the project. We, we trained them in less management systems, we trained them in cropping activities, we trained them in breeding. So yes, they are very much aware of your job. Actually, they understand it better than some financial gurus are in Zimbabwe, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I've, I've got structures all over. So all do you Zimbabwe. call it financial <laughs> illiteracy that is pervasive in the in the country among the people you expect to know better? Yes, uh, I, I, no, 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 no
for outside of the box thinking or for group thinking. But so maybe, the maybe the curricula we, we have been taught. Maybe you are the one who is uh, yes, who is uh, shooting yourself in the foot. No, sir. Let me let me just finish my example. Yeah. I was saying we have been told to be to be individualistic. You see, for example, I'll give you one example. I'm not saying. Okay, let me just speak you on on, on my chartered accounting, which which one as well. You see, you you you, you, you every, every young child wants to be a CA when they're into accounting, right? But how many jobs are there for CAs? That's because someone has got a, a good package, he gets a, drives a good car, his, his rentals are paid for, his children are being sent to school. Every young child has become a role model to every young accountant. That's right. Cena. Already, the, fo the focus is not on on um, on, uh, on communal building, on communal investment or social investment. It's, it's based on my individual uh, accumulate, accumulate. So let's start. You know let's start. Let's start with you. Chartered accountant. There's yes, a sir. charter, <laughs> and there's an accountant. Yeah. They are all in one. Yeah. Uh, yes, sir. Let me talk to you know you know you know someone called Young yes. Deloitte. Uh, yes. Price yes. Water. I know them very well. Sir. What are they? Well, what yeah. business are they in? Uh, they are being counted, as apparently, say, trying to save whoever has made money and to, 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 for, for that reason to make more money. That's it. If I told you that That's they are they are not in that business, that they don't exist, that yeah, no, not, does not exist. I know, I know. Some of those are what, what are those affiliates? Uh, I, 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 I can say what organization, so to speak. No, no, they are real. It's, it's, a, it's like, a, like a car. What is a car? Mm -hmm. A car. A car is nothing, sir. A car is a, not, is, not an, is an object. Yeah, a liability. No, no, it's an object. It's a liability, of, sir. No, it's an object of value. Isn't it? No, no, it's real. It, it, uh -huh. it exists, but if you can't drive it, that object cannot move uh -huh. on its own and create a destination. Of course, no, you say, uh, so uh, human uh, beings uh, use uh, a car as a vehicle to uh -huh. move from point to A to, to point uh -huh. B. But say, is it really necessary? I'll give you the example of Africa. You, you, you pick on something. Well, on transport, I'm saying if, if you go to Europe, a young man is not even he is, he does not even aspire to get a car or to buy a car because their forms of transport are efficient. No. When you come to Africa, <clears throat> even if, now you are not talking about yourself. Uh, now you are talking about the Europe. Well, I'm just talking about a car that it is a vehicle. Yes. That can carry yeah. you to a point but, B if you need to go there and arrive at a specific time or within a specific time range. And that I agree the there. car, I like a P but, a PWC, they are just vehicles of grouping human beings together. And exactly it is the human there. beings who perform services, not the company. Of course, it yes, is a driver yes, who gives yes. the motion to the car. But in the end, yeah. you don't need a car. Definitely, there's, there's no car exactly, but they still move it. No, I'm saying is we, we, can, we also have the instrument to move, but uh, we can be pedestrian, we can be subsistence. But when we now bring in the civilization that makes you a chartered accountant, the thinker, in the mountain, who has climbed the highest mountain of accounting solutions? What is it? Where is the grouping? Why can't we get a network of accountants and be able to put them into one room? Exactly, say that. And if we put them into that room and called it Africa Accounting Inc.
it shall be African Accounting yes. Inc. It's like the beers. What True. is the beers about diamonds? Exactly. They don't know. They don't have any diamonds in their country, but with the no, they, no, they, they, they group together and they control the diamond industry. No, no, not they. It's just the beer doesn't exist. It's just a vehicle that is used to identify exactly. God's gifts. With the but it has nothing to do with the foreigner. Exactly. exactly. Because the diamonds exactly. are, are deposited where they are found. But the yeah. diamond themselves cannot dig themselves out of where they are found. They can't. It they requires can't. human structure, human order. Imagine, I think you know about the Roman Catholic yeah, Church. Yeah, You know about the Roman Catholic Church? I know. Like, well, what? Very much, uh, Catholic. Do you agree that is a corporation? I know that. The Vatican is one of the richest corporates in the world. No, no. I know that, sir. No, it's not rich. Mm -hmm. The Vatican has nothing to do with the faith. Yeah, no. The I faith know. is uh, at know. the individual level to make the choice. Exactly. Uh, the, 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 the structures we have are just... But say, in a world of, from my understanding, the value of the church is in the, in the, in the individual's choice, which is uh, craftily uh, coerced into your mind since... No, uh, you, know, you know, Jesus never left cash, you know that. He never left balance it for livestock. Yeah. He never <laughs> left uh, an address. <laughs> Yeah, he never did. But he managed to create a, a seed that has germinated and crossed the borders mm -hmm. without him being exactly. alive. True. And Prophet Naomi yes. never left uh -huh. a checkbook. Mecca, whatever. No, he never yeah, left sure. a, even a picture. Nobody knows what he looks like. Yeah, sure. But how many believers are there? Yeah, sure. So, so you I are saying I that I can't grow my passion because I don't have the money. When Jesus said, if two or more uh, grow in the name of livestock, mm -hmm. livestock will be there. Yeah, true, sir. That's why I say, half of my life I've been on this project, sir. I think if you remember, we spoke about 10 years ago, I'm sure. No, maybe six around 2012. That's when it's spoke, isn't it? Yeah. If I'm, if I'm, if I, yeah, I think around 2012. Um, yeah, I, 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 I've got a passion about livestock, sir. No, but yeah, I'm yeah, saying is, the, if if you are Jesus' disciple, what do you do? Do you wait to <laughs> promise that you will come back so that you can deal with the problems, or you become Jesus no. yourself? I, I need to become a Jesus. Yeah, then they say if two or more think about livestock as an asset. Yeah, true. An asset. That can yeah. be securitized. Then yeah. that yeah. will be the start. But if I am not structured and I'm not organized, you see in the Catholic Church there there is one Pope, is that correct? Yeah, sure. Have you ever heard of a coup d'etat? I had. A huh? lot of them. You in Africa. I'm saying in the Catholic faith, have you ever heard of a coup? Uh, no, 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 not at all. It's well structured. It's well structured. Not at all. Yeah, they know who's next. They know that the Pope must be one of the most useless persons. Yeah, so... So there's no need to fight for his position. <laughs> because if you want okay. to abuse children, would you do it as a pope? No, you can't. If you want you to abuse nuns, would you do it as a pope? No, you wouldn't. Not at all. So the pope is a prisoner. True. He's True. guarded. It's just like a fast. Yeah. Exactly. So whatever he does, somebody else has to know. 
Exactly. But what about the exactly. priests? Uh, uh, they, they, they do whatever they want. They do whatever they want. But for you to be a pope, yeah. you must have been a priest. True. Yeah, you got to go through the system. And for you to be a bishop, you must have been what? A priest. A priest. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, so if that is the case, then we mm -hmm. need to, to be able to think out of the box to say, who is the priest? Who is the Pope? Who is the general of livestock? Exactly, sir. And who are no, the followers? No. Exactly. And who are the believers? Exactly. But if you don't have yeah. that fellowship, that congregation, you can't build anything. A company is an association. Yes. FIFA yes. is an association of football associations. Or football clubs. Not clubs. Okay. Okay. It's an association of associations. Yeah, yeah. And an association. Yeah. So the federation. Mm -hmm. Must mm -hmm. So if you start from your but community, maybe say, uh, just coming to that. Hello, hello, sir. I'm here. I'm here. Uh, go ahead, yeah. All right, okay. I was going to say, coming closer to GLB, being uh, coming focus on GLB, um, I also say, I. I Actually, uh, I got the structures on the ground, which are, which are still standing as they speak right now. Uh, the people are passionate about livestock. You know, apparently, you know, the, the African person loves livestock. It's everything no, him. But we already, yeah. already you are talking about Actually, livestock. You are not talking about organization and structure. That there is no difference between the WC and the Catholic Church. Mm -hmm. There is no difference between the corporation. Is, no, I'm just saying is most people uh, want to talk about the things they are passionate about, but not talk about life uh, that they live. So that you can be inclusive. Okay, yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true. Yeah, so many I, people I are that, default uh, to what they want, and they think money is going to be the answer, a leader is going to be the answer. And when you understand no, no, what no, no, leadership no. is, then you find that nobody yeah, yeah. was given more than 24 hours in a day to lead the others. Exactly. True. Yeah. So funny. why would I want to be led by another human being? When a human being is li living life like me, when he's yeah. angry, he's angry. Exactly. So those yeah. are the lessons exactly. that we don't have. That's why we created this platform. To be able to have these yes. conversations no. about about exactly. banking on Africa's future, true, true. Exactly. about exactly. being able to think outside the church itself, like Jesus said, to provoke others exactly. to follow him exactly. without him leading them exactly. or picking up every day to say, "Are you coming to church?" He left <laughs> us to exercise our choices. But if what we are talking about today inspires somebody, then he will know that yeah. you, your passion shows in what you do and what you are saying. That if you are a chartered accountant, imagine we started a, a bank of chartered accountants in Africa to identify chartered accountants. And we build you know, you know, a network of chartered accountants. You know how much exactly we can influence the chief financial officers of banks. Yeah, exactly, sir. But you know what? I had to to move out of most of our groupings because of the rigidity I was talking about. That they are trained, or rather, we are trained to come out tops. Only that, but we need to be selfish. We are you are trained to think out of the box, but there's no box. I'm saying, there is no box. But you already you are, you are, imagine box. you were Jesus, would you die? Yes, yes, I would die. 
No, who is going to organize the people when you are dead? No, like, like I don't have... Yeah, but you are, you, are, you are talking about others, not you being the change. No, I, I'm trying to be the... No, no. Let's no, have I, a I, conversation about, the, the, about the, the order of churches or the general. If you find a general in the trenches, uh -huh. the battle is lost. Would mm -hmm. you agree? Well, it depends on how well... He has trained his other soldiers. No, Isn't if it? you find him in the trenches <laughs> holding mm -hmm. an AK rifle, uh -huh. he, the battle is lost. Well, say, uh, because he, for say, you to be general, you must have been in the trench before. Oh, of course, of course. All right, of course. Oh. You must yes. plan yes. for yes. battles in times of peace. <laughs> Exactly. Yeah, you, you can't get into a battle and plan for it. You can't. Yeah, you so can't. where are the leaders to be found in, in, in Zimbabwe today if after 20 years of uh, uh, 40 years of independence you look up to as a general of the accounting profession? Not one, sir. Not even one. Okay. Not even one. All right. So, who do you look I, up to as a, as a to talk about financial innovation, financial engineering? In Zimbabwe, say, unfortunately, <laughs> I, I think Andy Rogers, only there's one guy who used to invite me on his platform there. He's a friend of mine. But then I tell him to look at Mr. Rogers. I think we are fighting a few to our party. No, it's not a few to But if I say, how many people want to be the president of the country? You know how many will come? Uh, no, the, I think, I don't know, hundreds, I'm sure, thousands. That's right. Thousands will come forward. Yeah, but they don't know that that face of an accountant can unlock resources. Because people who think an accountant is exactly. qualified. When people vote, they think that voting for is actually doing that enterprise in their interest, not knowing he's trying to validate himself so that he can get uh, easier options in life. Exactly. But how many That's people are fooled said. by That's older instructors? Uh, almost it is. Yeah. In the organization, that's how it's done. Put in a, 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 a challenge to last year to chartered accountants to say, I will be your patron. Let's say, set up a borderless accounting firm. Exactly. And in that accounting that's firm, that's then we teach the believers. Yeah. Yeah about what needs to happen yeah. and how yeah, life true. took because the guys who came from europe the colonizer never came with capital unit no they didn't they never no, came didn't. as part of a project they came, they came on their own for their own tickets but today we are calling them colonialists instead yeah. of instead of hustlers yeah, those are hustlers. Of course, they are. Some they never they went to hustlers. school. They were never chartered by anybody. They just came as individuals. Yes, sir. With no degree, then, no see, qualification. Exactly. And apparently, it looks like the degrees and these qualifications have been our biggest setbacks, sir. Not our, say my biggest, say, you know. They never talk on this platform about our. That's how we escape responsibility. Talk about yourself. Okay. If you are not intimidated and your life has been a life of struggle and you've been it alone, say so, so that others may join you. Okay, fine. I'm not, uh, look, uh, when I say ours, I don't want to sound as if I'm, um, 
I'm just trying to be a what? To be diplomatic. No, don't be diplomatic because Jesus yeah. died alone. Exactly. So yeah, maybe I should. Yeah, you, maybe you're right. I, I'll tell you this what makes me strong. I was at the start from the East Union, from the East Union of Zimbabwe, 1992, for refusing to write assignments from me from the states and Singapore. I was told by the then uh, that young man, if you want to get your own curricula your own university, then leave this University of Zimbabwe. I appealed to Dr. Farai Owe and then Professor Hill, and I was reseted. But I asked the, 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 the doctor, listen here, you want me to do assignments from Europe and Singapore, yet you never said it, I should get it back, it's butter. There were a lot of problems around um, uh, Zimbabwe. But yet, uh, in, in 1948, in Singapore, 1938 problem in the United States of America. The curricula, the curricula is, is, is part of my biggest problem. And of course, Christianity. No, no, I'm saying is you're already oh, defaulting yeah. into our biggest problem. I'm just saying is there is no, you don't have to have curriculum to be uh, a problem solver, right? The problem. And the problem is yeah. how to outreach the idea and how to get the people to shift their mindsets but the moment yeah, you that, default yeah. into curriculum even if you have the best curriculum in the world you can't convert a full uh -huh. smart person just by election no you can't yeah, so yeah. what you need is order and structure. If there is no general accountants, why not be the first one? Yeah, well, I, I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> yeah, why do you have to think of other people being taking the one seat when you are saying there's no one who's taking the step forward? Yeah. Well, Have you ever seen me? So, uh, yeah, my, you know, you know, in Beta Nunzi. Abana. Yeah. Yeah. Or a dog <laughs> being invited to bark. No. Yeah. So if you are moving, the dog will bark. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Look, look. I say I really get what you say, and I agree with that, Sophie. Uh, when I was still maybe when I was a teenager or in my early twenties, I I had this problem, but not anymore. Now I see things the way you're talking to me right now. I understand that. I also got one mentor, Ms. Nonya, he's been telling me about job. He's been telling me the way you are telling me that you need to step up to the to the app. You need to go to the front. And uh, I'm speaking to PK, you know, Poka Kagame. You told me this young man. If you're not struggle, you don't wait for the world. No, but, you, but, you, uh, but you, you know why Jesus said if two or more gather in my name, then I'll be there. Because the only institution without a constitution is called marriage. Apart from that, if you find one person, not you, and you agree on the need of structure and uh -huh. order, then you are halfway there. Uh -huh. Then it means you can leverage on one, one idiot called the Pope or one idiot called the President, and people think the President is the main man. But his job is not to substitute human beings. So I can have a general who is drinking coffee while I'm dying. Can you, can, you, can you listen to me? Can you listen to me for a moment? Okay. Can you listen to me for a moment? I'm, I'm going to be very rude. Okay? I'm, I'm not very rude. No, you are entitled because you are, you, are, you are speaking. Remember, remember if, you go, if you still have our chat, I invited you to join me on this job. Because I wanted to use people like you. Like you. Because you know I'm a nobody. I know one knows me. But who told my has done this is done by the time that. That's what you're telling me to do. And, so, and maybe this is... Hello? No, no. You were talking I'm about... G, you were talking about GLB. Not talking about what? 
not talking about order and structure. No, that's what I wanted us to build. No, but then if we build around an issue, then we we'll never get there. No, 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 we're not going to build it around an issue. No, 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 no. No, the moment I put GLB, you know, like now, I call this banking on Africa's future. Uh -huh. Who do I bank on? Exactly. If the people I look exactly. up to are bankrupt, yeah. who should I bank on? Uh -huh. If those I expect to know better, they are fools, then what's the, what's the point of learning? Exactly. Exactly. If the chartered accountants are complaining about other chartered accountants, then what's the point of being a chartered accountant? Yeah, there's no point there. That's why I said, look, I'm going to divert, I'm going to take my own route. I'm very comfortable with going my own way, doing the crazy thing. Actually, since the 90s up to 2040, 2010, the people thought I was crazy. You want to listen to me. Not a single, not a single insurance company would listen to me. But now you are, uh, but, but, but you are talking about the past. I'm saying you are, you are a crusader and you die in battle alone yes, and people will never understand you. But try to build these yes, communities, convert yes, connections into yes, communities. And that was my message uh, for, for today. That uh, con uh, convert yourself into a human being first and okay. then w interest okay. human beings into what is possible when we come together yes sir uh, uh, that's what I'm saying sir. that's why I'm inviting you sir be part of this this crusade and anyone who's interested in this crusade what is the crusade? What is the what, what what is the crusade? Um, basically, I call it uh, financial engineering. No, I'm the, saying is I'm saying is if you call it missionary work, financial engineering, they'll kill you. I know. <laughs> but how many people? That's why I no, no, I'm saying don't invite somebody to go to heaven when you've never been to heaven yourself. Exactly, sir. But look, I don't want, I don't want people who, who want heaven. That, that is the man. I want people who believe in creating their own heaven. No, you are not good. Allow human beings to, allow flies to come to meet because you are doing something. Don't invite okay, anybody. Sir, don't target okay. anybody. You never know who is a bridge to what you have been thinking about. Yeah. Be visible. No, truth. Find yourself okay. in causes that attract many. Even when people are talking about constitutionalism, talking about constitution, talking about judgment, find a way of connecting yourself to that understanding. Because there are many people who think, yes, who right. think, um, yeah, hello, sir. There are many um, people who yes, don't know yes. what needs to happen, and who think they know, yeah. Look, I agree 100% with what you say. Uh, for your own information, let me just let you know that I've created one for the youth, one for the, the mindset of the kids, and one for physical So all I'm saying is uh, let's start with one project to create 
a, a community of these financially educated people but illiterate people? Say, I mean, on that say, I, I, I beg to differ, say, uh, because most of them, they are thinking, say, or oh, rather, uh, they think in between them, they're so rigid. I'm saying is, uh, uh, please don't think, don't think on behalf of another person. Just say, no, 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 no. You know, you know, you know why, why, why so? You know why soldiers say, uh, when you say jump and you are a general, you know what they say? Uh, how high? How high? Why do they say that if they are complete human beings? Because they've been drilled. No, there's order in structure. Yeah, they man. never, if I say let's go to battle and I'm the general, I know I'm going to die. The general is not, is not going to be there in the field. But I go looking forward to dying for a cause. But the moment you say I beg to differ, then already we are in a conversation that will never end. No, sir, if we allow to get the other story. No, I'm saying that's why that's why battles are lost while you are con conversing about what to do next. If the general says, my friend, let's go, then trust that the Pope, he is not a fool. He was also a priest receiving confessions. He has been there, exactly. Yeah. So you must find, if you are the general, then we follow you. True, say, true, say. But what I'm saying say is this. Um, sometimes you just need to move along with like minded people. You, you um, know, God, that three of you, no, God never gave you a company who is a who. The people you trust most are going to let you down. True, I've been through it. I, I've been through it. Yeah, so never rely on any human being with the, uh, two eyes, two ears, or whatever, two legs. Or somebody who's got a mind. So all I'm saying is uh, just, uh, just be a soldier without asking where I'm going. Because the general does not know where he's going, but don't ask him. Yeah. Otherwise, he can't take you where he's never been. Yeah, true. No one, all these pastors, they can't stop COVID. But every Sunday, they tell the congregation that they are closer to God. <laughs> and people believe. Yeah. Never take an insurance policy. On, the, on what your pastor says. He's never been there. <laughs> oh, Jamie. <laughs> oh, thank you very much, sir. Um, it's been very and, and, uh, a brain, uh, a brain teaser for me. Um, I, will, I will definitely keep talking, keep talking, sir, and I will, I will be guided. Okay. You have to get yourself this minute. Yeah. That's why I decided to say the initiative to fight you out on that time. Yeah. Maybe, of course, yeah, I didn't. Uh, I didn't because, you know what? I, I came across a lot of people who said they were struggling with me and they gave me a lot of million dollars in the body of my money and lost cars and lost property. But, you know, you know yeah so if you are in the accountant be the uh, use your profession for good causes be a leader of something but find yourself in a mountain in a pyramid where the guy is the one who suffers the burden of being misunderstood but if you are in a pyramid, it means you all stand as one unit. One who see further than others, not that he's got better eyes, but because the people who underpin him are people who want to go somewhere. Of course.
So structure and order is what is missing, not money. Yes, no, true, 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 sir. true, I agree. Yeah. So, the case, let's try to identify the people. Like when you couldn't fi find me, you send a message through somebody. That's order. That's structure. So we are now three people. Yeah, true. Then you ask you, what were you talking to Maweri about? And yes. do, do you want do you want to tell him or just say I'll send you the link? No, 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 no. It's, it's quite fine. It's one of my partners. This young man is passionate about TLB, about my my. No, you're already yes. missing the point. Never. Yeah, just share. That's why the social media, so that you can link and just send it out without you having to tell people what is in it. Okay, yeah, of course. I'll do because uh, you didn't know I was going to call you today. So how are you going to plan for me? Nothing, sir. Yeah. Not. So just uh, take the link and uh, share it as well your voice is in it so you are part of that conversation but that's why jesus said there are how many versions about jesus four versions but he's dead yeah these are storytellers right now we can record we can video we can do everything yet Yes. We don't understand what the Bible is all about. These are shared stories. They inspire generation after generation. So this conversation That's what we need to do, yeah. is already done. Others may benefit from it without you asking them to benefit from it. True. So the people who wrote the Bible are not alive to benefit from it. True. But the stories in the Bible have never died. Yeah, they, they live forever. Because we keep them alive. Exactly. So if that is the case, then we need to capture, archive our conversations. So the next time we are saying, let's have this challenge of creating a pyramid for accountants. Because we know that's how we will get into banks. True. Yeah, you know a person, True. you know, Bitvest. Yeah, Bitvest, yeah, I've heard about it. Yeah, 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 I've heard about it. Do you know it. who started it? Um, was it you? No, it's no, called. I'm I'm uh, about it. He was a chartered accountant. He's a chartered accountant. It's called right. Bri Brian Joffe. Okay. He's the, of Jewish heritage. Mm hmm. And he was a chartered accountant who came from who went to America and was looking for a job. Then found his friends were in banks looking for projects. And because they done articles together, they knew each other. They started giving money to him. Okay, we seem to be cut here. Yeah. So, there you are. I hope you have learned having Mr. Naka with us has allowed you to go deeper into the issues. So, it starts with me. It starts with you. We are the change that we are waiting for. And we can make the difference if we change the way we think about order and structure. No money. Order. Who do you look? If that person you look up to knows you, and you are nowhere near where you should be. Look up to Jesus without asking him to come back in life. 
look up to the ideal, the idea be what we do. So don't allow yourself to think that you have all the answers because we don't, I don't. Somebody has just said to me, uh, please, can you hide my number? But I want mentorship. So I said, you are not ready for mentorship if you are hiding who you are. Because people work with people. I can't call a dark a human being. Step forward, identify yourself. Who are you? Why are you afraid to show your face? Show your face. Speak your mind. The rest will follow. But how many want others to take the step forward while they hide behind their own comfort zones? They don't want to be known. Yet they want others to be known and they want to be cheerleaders. That person. And uh, be the change that you want to see. Thank you very much.